Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I am going to be doing my very first review video. <laughs> um, this review will be on a brand that I've worked with a lot in the past and that I think very highly of. Um, that is Bali Body. So today I will be reviewing the very first self tanning mousse as well as the tanning mitt. And I also will be reviewing the moisturizing lotion. Um, so I'm pretty much going to do a full demo on how I apply my fake tan and I'll tell you guys what I think. So it pretty much says on the back here, achieve a flawless natural looking tan without easy to apply fast drying lightweight tinted tanning mousse. No self tan smell. So pretty much this is a one hour tan. With one hour tans I like to pretty much leave it on for like four hours just because I like to be nice and tanned. Um, but I'll give you guys an update on once I've applied it and what it's looking like within the hour and I'll let you know, you know, if the hour's enough or if I would suggest a bit longer. First I'm going to go shower, shave the legs, exfoliate. It is very important to exfoliate before you apply um, your fake tan just because you need a nice smooth base to apply it onto so it doesn't look all scaly and, you know, uneven or patchy or anything. Yeah, so just exfoliate everywhere where you get really dry and pretty much all over your body. And then I will show you how I like to apply it and what it feels like on my skin. Um, so yeah, it is really important to apply fake tan with a mitt because if you don't, you're going to get orange hands. It's not going to be applied nice and evenly. Mitts are definitely a must <laughs> for applying fake tan. So, I might even just open this and just see what the... Yeah, see, this is super soft, super soft, which means that it should apply it very even and very, oh yeah, very easily. So let's get into it. I'm going to go shower and then I'll check back in with you probably in my bathroom and show you how I like to apply it. Okay, so I just hopped out of the shower. I've exfoliated. My skin is feeling nice and smooth. Um, I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey. I'm in my bathroom just because I don't want to get any fake tan on my carpet or anything that it can stain. Okay, so I have my tanning mitt right here and then my mousse. Um, and I usually just kind of do this naked, but I mean, we're going to keep this PG. <laughs> so I've just got a swimmer top on and I'm just going to demonstrate how I tan the top half of my body and then I'll do the rest of my body off camera. Okay, so I remember it said shake well. So we'll give it a little shake. And we'll just start off with this one, two pumps, yeah. And then I'm just going to start off with my arm and just slowly rub that in. Okay, so it feels really smooth on my skin and that little bl <laughs> that blends out so nicely and it kind of smells like, yeah, it's not the usual fake tan smell. It smells quite clean actually, I like it. So that went on so easily and so smooth. No, literally no streaks whatsoever, that blended so nicely. I don't know if you can tell, you won't be able to tell much difference now but i will be checking up so there's no no streaks whatsoever that blended so nicely um so i did two pumps first and then just start rubbing it in it smells really like clean not the usual like coconut or strong tanning smell which is good because most a lot of people hate the smell of fake tan especially your boyfriends <laughs> So I can't see too much of a difference now, really, but I feel like once it starts to develop, it'll, get, it'll just get darker and darker, hopefully. Now we'll just move on to the chest. Okay, so that's that done. Now, I really can't see colour difference now, but hopefully it starts developing and you'll just get deeper and deeper. Okay, 
Okay, so I just finished applying all over my body. This is probably the nicest feeling tan I've probably ever used. This blended so freaking easily and smoothly. Like it was kind of like putting moisturizer on and it just kind of all just came together. I don't know, but so far so good. We're gonna have to wait and see for the color. Um, but I'll probably leave it on for about three to four hours just to get it nice and bronzed. Um, I just hopped out of the shower, washed my hair, washed the tan off. Um, and I am impressed. <laughs> the color of this is so nice. And I did end up leaving it on for about three to four hours. But that's just what I usually do. Um, and it's come out nice and tanned and bronzed. I do recommend the Bailey Body Tanning Mousse. And I would very, very highly recommend the Tanning Mitt also. Just because this mitt was so soft. And it, I don't know if it was the tan or the mitt. Or maybe just both products combined. But... When I was putting this on, it just blended in so nicely and so smoothly and there's literally no streaks. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Bailey Body Soft Tanning Mousse and their Mitt. Um, and another product that I have been loving the last few weeks since I got this is the Bailey Body Moisturizing Lotion. Oh, the lights, yeah. Um, guys, this smells <laughs> so freaking nice. It's got this beautiful coconut smell and it just feels so nice on your skin. It doesn't feel sticky, heavy, none of that. It is vegan friendly, so only tested on us humans. <laughs> um, but yeah, this lotion is super nice, guys. I would highly recommend this after a long day of tanning or even just to hydrate your skin. It feels so nice, guys, and it smells superb <laughs> so that's the end of my review i hope you guys enjoyed i'll definitely love to review some more stuff in the future so let me know if there's any products you want me to try and let you know what i think of them um but for now that is it <laughs> thank you for watching guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe